The mystery surrounding the death of a seven-year-old girl in her Ludington home and a 39-year-old man who was with her starting to be unraveled. The coroner releasing the latest information on the autopsies and the child's mother speaking out. 24 Hour News 8's Megan Stemple is live in Ludington with those late-breaking details. Megan? Suzanne, Brian, in a conversation with the Ludington Daily News, Chloe's mother reportedly told them that Chloe was not stabbed, but she was brutally murdered. The scene here behind me, very different from yesterday. You can see the crime tapes been taken down. Family was inside today retrieving some belongings. And take a look over here, a makeshift memorial left for the seven-year-old. And you can see there are flowers, stuffed animals, a sign there for Chloe, all left for that seven-year-old girl. Police still not saying how she died or who is responsible for her death. The autopsy for seven-year-old Chloe Ann Stout was scheduled for this afternoon in Kent County. So far, the medical examiner has not released the results of that. However, police say she did not appear to have any stab wounds. We do know the results of an autopsy on 39-year-old James Bellinger, the man who died yesterday in this home. The autopsy on him showing he died from stab wounds, from one stab wound to the heart. Police, again, not releasing any information on who is responsible for his death. Police say someone called 911 around 5.30 yesterday morning reporting a stabbing at the home on Pineway Street. Police found Stout and Bellinger in the home, both suffering from injuries. Chloe died at the scene, Bellinger at the hospital. The police chief says Chloe's mother and her two younger siblings were both home at the time, and police said right away they were not looking for any suspects. Now, police say Bellinger was a quote unquote, or had a quote unquote social relationship with Chloe's mother. Bellinger lived in Montague with his two children. We spoke with his landlord yesterday who said that those children are now in the uh -huh. care of their grandparents in Montague. Again, the autopsy results on Chloe will, are expected to be released tonight. We'll bring you those as soon as they become available. Reporting live in Ludington, I'm Megan Stemble, 24 Hour News 8.